Hi guys, welcome back. Scanning here we're off for more of Pokemon Go. Professor Willow has information for us. As I was out on my regular walk one evening, I stumbled across an old stone. Something told me to bring it back to my lab for further research. Ever since then, strange things have been happening. Wait, Professor Willow, this seems familiar. Papers are shifting around, water glasses tipping all by themselves. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. Yeah, same. When I tried to use my computer to research out, I got an error message with number 108 flashing. Can you catch the ghost Pokemon? I have to believe... I have to believe we can solve these spooky occurrences with science. Yep! Spooky message 2019. This was for the Halloween event. I should have made this video earlier, but I didn't have enough time. I was busy. I have two Let's Plays going on. One live stream, one recorded. And I'm still doing Hat in Time's Death Wishes. You know the routine. But, if you notice there, this is 2019. There's a 2018. We'll get to that in a bit. October is here, which means it's almost time to make things a bit spookier. More Shadow Pokemon, Avatar items, which I'm not showing because I, I don't bother with those. Shiny Pokemon become the go. So until pretty much the 1st of November, we've gotten to then from halfway through October, which is the time I started uh, working. That's uh, kind of the problem why I didn't have a lot of time to do this. More Ghost and Dark type Pokemon are around in the Wild Eggs and Raids. There's Shed Ninja wearing Bulbasaur, Cuba wearing Charmander, Yamnask wearing Squirtle, and Mimikyu wearing Pikachu, which seems a bit blasphemous. Which I didn't sadly catch any of them. There's also Darkrai, which I didn't bump into. I did see a couple of them, but I couldn't actually catch anything. So, yeah, this was kind of a washout of a, an event for me. I just had the worst luck catching Pokemon, which you'll probably see during this. Even basic Pokemon like Shuppet, I was having trouble. This very first one, while well, starting recording here, this was on the 23rd of October. That first clip of where we were actually covering the event was on the uh, 18th of October. Like I said, I was going to make this uh, video beforehand, but I wanted to ride out the entirety of the event to see if I actually could catch anything. Most of the Pokemon that kept appearing in the wild in my local area were Pokemon I already had, so there wasn't really much for me to show. And when there was like a Mimikyu Pikachu in the wild, or uh, a, I didn't actually bomb into any Bulbasaur or Squirtles, but I did bomb into a... No, Squirtles were in the area, but there weren't any uh, Charmanders, mainly because it was raining all the time, so that makes a bit of sense. But... Every time I was making my way to a Mimikyu Pikachu, it disappeared when I got there. It just, it just, all the wild Pokemon just refreshed. And when I got near a, pit, a, uh, a Squirtle, I chuck about two balls at it, doesn't catch, and then it runs away. So I had the worst luck. So on the 23rd of October here, I took a bit of time and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to record and see what happens, which actually a lot of things happen. But sadly I didn't get any of the, of the uh, special mons. And as I said with Darkrai, saw, saw a couple of them, took a picture, which probably showed up on screen when I mentioned it, but didn't actually, well, didn't actually get into a raid battle with it because there was no one around because the weather was terrible. In fact, um, it was uh, kind of spitting around here, which kind of messed up with my uh, touchscreen controls. So that was a problem. So as you saw there, had a bit of trouble with a uh, Shuppet. Uh, that Drill Bird, that's not a dark type Mon. That's not even part of the event, but I still got something out of it. I got uh, more great photos in order to continue with uh, the spooky message. That's just continuously going up. I was hoping that that would have led to a Cubone, because I still need that for the Go Meltan mission, because Cubones are just not in the area at the moment. Which is annoying as well, because I remember fighting a... I think I mentioned this in the last episode, I was fighting a Rocket Grunt, and he had Cubones, and I beat him, but then the game hung on a black screen before I could catch whatever Shadow Pokemon he dropped. And he had Cubone, Cubone, and Marowak. So, thanks game, that would have been nice to have, but oh well. But yeah, there was also that Drifloon there, which I was hoping that once again could have been shiny, because like, the way I got the last one, I was just in town, walking around, and then I just booted up in order to spin a Pokestop, and that Drifloon appeared, and it happened to be shiny, and I caught it, so. <laughs> but here's a weird thing, there's a combi here. Why are there combis here? They're supposed to appear in the summer and spring. This is aut autumn, borderline winter. But, hey, it's a combi. Don't know what gender it is, because it's not going to tell you, because it's like one of those dependent ones where you need a female in order to evolve it. If it's male, it can't evolve. The one that I caught in the summer, a few months back, which I'm pretty sure I did show, if not, it'll be in the album at least. Link in the description below. Um, this one's female, where the other one was male. And I was ecstatic, because I was like, yes! All I need to do now is get the candy and I can evolve it! And to prove it, I actually do go into my uh, Pokemon here in order to actually search on my combis. I only have the two, one from that summer, one from now. And yeah, to just confirm, even though that the other combi is a lot more better, I guess that makes sense considering I'm not going to evolve it. That's the male, that's the female. I can evolve it. 
so I don't need any more combis. I could just walk with it in order to build the candy if I really wanted to. But yeah, this uh, entire um, clip here on the 23rd is pretty much just me trying to see you know, test my luck because I wasn't getting anywhere. I was like, I need to show something. <laughs> I need to show something, and something will eventually happen if I just record and just play. So yeah, that was kind of the consensus on that. So we haven't actually had many part uh, many parts recently where I just have a segment of gameplay since I do these videos a bit different now. Post commentated all that, by the way. Water cast form because it was raining. Can I get a winter one, please? I need to actually make sure I catch a winter one during winter. Probably coming up to Christmas. So I've got to make some time for that. Hopefully, they will appear. Because I, I've got all the waters and uh, uh, sun types, I guess. <laughs> Fire types. But I haven't got any... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure there was an ice type. Is there an ice type? I don't remember how cast form works. I know he has three forms. I just forget what his final one is. But yeah, we're catching a lot of ghastlies, which actually helps to uh, power up my... Uh, Gangars, because I haven't been getting a lot of their candies recently, so... Of course you break out on the final wobble. But yeah, it's like I'm trying to use up berries as well, because, I mean, obviously that makes it easy to catch, but I need to use 108 berries in order to progress on the Spooky Message, which I'll take a little bit of time to mention right now. Spooky Message 2019 is pretty much the same as 2018. Same mission uh, requirements, uh, same rewards. You get a Spirit Tomb on the, the second part, and then you get a bunch of candy, so you can get yourself a second Spirit Tomb. But it is literally the same quest line. The only difference is that the Pokemon, which you're about to see here, the Pokemon catching rewards, are different. They're, th this time it's a it's a Litwick and it's a Gen 5 Mon instead of a Gen 4 Mon. Which, by the way, if you just noticed before actually engaging with this Litwick, I was making my way to a Pokemon's a Pokestop to catch a Litwick, and then I catch a Litwick on the way. So double Litwick for me, I guess. Also, this one's obviously a little bit more better because it's part of research. It's going to be having, I, be, I believe that the ones that you get from research events are set stat. Like, they're, they're, they're set to be a certain, like, build. So, that might be a thing. But hey, it's quite decent. That was also the first one I caught. And made my way to the Pokestop in order to try and catch the Litwick that I'm after. Also, you may notice in the uh, wild Pokemon uh, radar bar down there, where you can like search uh, like where's where's the nearest Pokestop that, that Pokemon's at or something, or what's in the wild if there's not enough Pokestops around. Um, yeah, it's like the only thing that I can actually catch that's in the current area at this present point in time is a Yammask, which is also a Gen 5 Mon that I don't have yet. So I'm gonna go for that after I catch the Slipwig. And also, excuse me, that didn't look like much of an idle animation to me. When that happened, I was like, you were not moving. Why did that bounce off you? But you it, he just basically made his... He just pretty much made a scowl at me, and that was enough to make the ball not work. That's very subtle, and that threw me off. But, as you can see here, but Pokeballs aren't working, so I thought, you know what, I'll chuck a Raspberry, increase it. This one gave me a lot of trouble. One Wobble, two Wobbles, Breakout. So that was two Wobbles with a Pokeball, right? With a raspberry. So, okay, let's increase the ball's chances from 1 to 1.5 and use a raspberry again. No wobble. Statistics make no sense for me. That's pretty much what went down when I was trying to catch the squirtle. I chuck a ball with a raspberry, curve it, maybe even get a nice or a great. Don't work. Try to go for a great ball, breaks out in, with, with, with no or one wobbles, and then runs away. That's why I don't have a lot to show in this video. That's why it's so short, only about 10 minutes. But, you know, I haven't actually cut out a lot this time. I'm pretty much showing all three video clips that I made that I had worthy stuff to show, and that's it. So, that's that for that area. I kind of jump cut to try and get all the way over there in order to get that Yamnask. Guess what? With the lore that I have on, it made a Yamnask appear on the way. <laughs> Not from research this time, just because of the equipment I had. I put on a... Uh, uh, a lucky egg and an incense pretty much for the entire hour that I was walking around half obviously it, They both last for 30 minutes, but you know might as well get a bit of extra experience and more Pokemon chances Cause I've got to catch 108 Pokemon using 108 berries, so might as well get on with that And yeah, I was able to catch that Yamnas pretty easily. It was a low level give it a pin berry Which I never have enough of I always have more Nana berries than anything else, but I tend to use those on Pokemon that are in gyms, but yeah like I said, didn't really get a chance to do anything else in the event, so sadly that's all I have to show for it. Got a bit of progress done on uh, the spooky message, got a bit more stardust, 
But I should have actually used that for another day to get more bonuses. But yeah, with that, guys, I'll see you guys next time for whatever we cover on Pokemon Go. Sorry that I didn't have all the, the uh, rare Pokemon. That's just luck of the draw.